Many sports fans are familiar with the Netflix series Last Chance You, which brought attention to college football at the junior college level, also known as JUCO. The first two seasons of the series focused on East Mississippi Community College in Scuba, Mississippi, while the third and fourth seasons highlight Independence Community College in Independence, Kansas. The fifth season is centered around Laney College in Oakland, California, and provides an intimate look at what is colloquially referred to as the Cali Juco struggle. The unique experiences and challenges faced by college athletes playing in the California junior college ranks. Prior to this Netflix series, the mainstream American sports audience was largely unfamiliar with how community college football operated and what role it played within the larger college football landscape, but last chance you help shed light on this level of football. This video will provide an introduction to those interested in learning more about JUCO football broadly, and in particular will examine how it operates in California. For those unfamiliar, community college football refers to American football programs offered by community colleges. These colleges typically offer two-year programs and the football teams are composed of student-athletes who are often seeking to transfer to four-year universities to continue their athletic and academic careers. There are two community college athletic associations in the United States, the National Junior College Athletic Association, NJCAA, and the California Community College Athletic Association, CCCA, which set the rules and regulations for all sports, including football, at the state's community colleges. They also oversee the administration of conferences and championships. As the name suggest, the NJCAA represents every community college in the country that is not in California, and the CCCA represents every California JUCO. The reason for this division is that there are actually more JUCO football programs in California than in the rest of the United States combined. 18 states other than California have JUCOs with football programs. Some notable programs within the NJCAA include Iowa Western, Hutchinson, Snow College, and Garden City. Some of the most well-known programs within the CCCA include Riverside City, San Mateo, Golden West, and Mount San Antonio. Perhaps the biggest impact of Last Chance U is that it revealed the quality of play at the junior college level. Many people may regard JUCO football as glorified high school ball, or sort of a 13th and 14th grade where community college students who want to continue pursuing athletics as an extracurricular activity post high school will participate. While this notion is true in some respects, as Last Chance U showed, there are extremely talented players at junior colleges all over the country, many of who will go on to have distinguished Division I and even NFL careers. For example, many notable NFL players, such as Aaron Rodgers, Alvin Kamara, Julian Edelman, Tyreek Hill, Josh Allen, Chad Johnson, and Steve Smith SR all played at the junior college level before reaching stardom in the NFL. The top-tier JUCO football programs would actually be competitive against Division II and Division III NCAA teams because these JUCO rosters are filled with guys who have D1 and or future NFL talent. So, why do talented players end up at JUCO instead of D1S? There can be several reasons why a football player may choose to or be forced to attend a junior college instead of a Division I school. One is they may have been under-recruited. A player may not have received any offers from D1 schools or may have received limited interest from D1 programs due to limited playing time or injuries in high school. Some players are also overlooked because they played at high schools with low levels of football competition, or because they lack the height and weight to be a prototypical D1 prospect. JUCO programs provide an opportunity for these players to showcase their skills and potentially earn a scholarship to a D1 program in the future. Another major reason is academics. Some players may have struggled academically in high school or may not meet the minimum academic requirements for D1 schools. JUCO programs often have lower academic standards and provide players with the opportunity to improve their grades and become eligible for D1 programs. Finally, some players choose JUCO for personal or family reasons. For example, maybe they do not feel confident that they will see significant playing time at a D1 school, they want to stay close to home, or they did not receive a sufficient scholarship to make playing at a university financially viable. In addition to players who go JUCO out of high school, there are also players who come to JUCO after having experience at the Division I level. These players are known as D1 bouncebacks. They often come to JUCO after getting kicked off their NCAA team due to academics or disciplinary issues. One of the most famous examples of a bounceback is Cam Newton, who transferred to Blinn College in Texas after disciplinary issues at the University of Florida had him facing expulsion. Newton led Blinn to a NJCAA championship in 2009 and he transferred to Auburn the following year where he led them to an NCAA championship. However, the bounce-back route is now becoming much less popular due to the proliferation of the NCAA transfer portal, which will be discussed in another video. One of the emotionally compelling aspects of Last Chance U is that it showed the human element to JUCO, including the challenges that many community college students broadly, but especially college athletes, can face. The players in Last Chance U faced a variety of challenges, both on and off the field. 
Many of the players came from difficult backgrounds, including poverty, crime-ridden neighborhoods, and broken families. These challenges often manifested in the form of mental health issues, substance abuse, and difficulty adjusting to the structure and discipline of college life. Many struggled to keep up with their schoolwork while also dedicating the time and energy required to succeed on the field. Additionally, football is a physically demanding sport, and many of the players dealt with the effects of past injuries, as well as the risk of future ones. Finally, the competition and pressure at the JUCO level can often be extreme. The ultimate goal for many JUCO players is to earn a scholarship to a four-year university, and the competition for these opportunities is intense. Playing JUCO's football in California specifically often presents challenges that are not present in the NJCAA. JUCOs in California do not offer athletic scholarships, and academic scholarships for out-of-state students can be difficult to attain. Community colleges in California also do not offer dorms, meal plans, or other luxuries that are generally afforded to NJCAA or NCAA players. Coupled with the high cost of living in California, many California JUCO players therefore work minimum wage jobs and are housing insecure. For example, one of the players highlighted in Last Chance U Season 5, Dior Scott, famously worked night shifts at Wing Stop and slept in his car during the season just to get an opportunity to compete at Laney, before eventually earning an offer to play at the University of Hawaii. More broadly, community college football programs often have limited budgets and resources, which can affect the quality of coaching, equipment, and facilities. Community colleges in California are also often heavily enrolled, which can make it difficult to find classes and get the support needed to succeed. However, student-athletes who are able to thrive in the Cali Juco struggle in spite of a lack of basic resources are well-equipped to succeed at higher levels of football. Additionally, playing in California, especially in recruiting hotbeds like Los Angeles, the Inland Empire, and San Diego, provides opportunities for exposure to NCAA coaches that are harder to come by at JUCOs located in more rural states like Kansas and Mississippi. This video has covered some of the important aspects of community college football and specifically of JUCO football as it operates in California. Unfortunately, the future of JUCO football has become somewhat uncertain in recent years as changes in NCAA transfer rules have diverted bounce backs away from the JUCO level in favor of the transfer portal. Additionally, Various institutions have discontinued their programs for financial reasons. In 2018, for example, all seven JUCO programs in the state of Arizona were eliminated due to a lack of state funding, including Arizona Western, which was formerly one of the nation's elite JUCO programs. In the meantime, though, JUCO remains an exciting level of college football, and provides an irreplaceable opportunity for overlooked and underrated student-athletes to continue to pursue their dreams.